Hi gang, today we are doing a safety video on applications that warn you of speed and, and current and temperature. And um, I'm going to start out now with uh, a guest appearance from the dogs. There's Chivas and there's Magellan. Hey guys. Um, but uh, we're going to start off with one called gyro gyro Gyrometrics. Um, hopefully, I zoom in here you can see. It does both landscape and portrait mode on the... Uh, the iOS and amazingly, if uh, I can work this with one hand, I should really have a guest uh, helping me out. There is an application, and with the application, you can see hopefully if it focuses um, that it has the current draw on the upper right. Uh, let me turn it this way. There we go. It has the distance, it has the miles per hour, it has the battery percentage in the lower left, and the temperature. If I click on these, I can move them. I can move them around. So you notice that temperature, for example, can be in the center. Battery percentage can be in the center, or speed. Um, so that's kind of handy. Now, also, um, this little app will handle a little mapping uh, deal. And so I haven't actually recorded with this to tell you how how good or not good it is. But um, that's the first part of it. And now if I zoom into the settings, and I realize that this is shaky and terrible, and I'm sorry, but it's one-handed. So uh, that's where we are. We go into the settings. You can see that you can set speech, a graphic dashboard, uh, blocking the sleep, the speed alarm. In this case, I set it for one mile an hour. And I'll show you why in a moment. Uh, the battery alarm, the password, and the like. Um, so, let's say I have some music playing through my Bluetooth speaker, as I frequently do. Alright gang, so now we're going to set it for a new run. We have some music playing. We've connected the 9bot, I hope. Yeah. The phone goes in the pocket. You watch. It's set to music right now, but we can set it to the other alarms. We'll do it right here. But la. Yeah, we got our speaker playing. We're gonna see one mile an hour. Please slow down. And you can hear the voice alarm. Please, slow down. Happen right over the uh, Please, the Bluetooth speaker. Down. So Please, that's kind of handy in this Gyromatrix. Slow down. Um, slow down. <laughs> we're gonna change Please, that speed right down. now. The ECU started making noise in the background of the video, so we're cutting to this now. Um, you can add your speed in miles per hour. You can add a battery alarm as well. Um, one of the really neat things about this particular app is when you enable the speech, is it routes through whatever your phone is routing through. So if you got it on your phone, it'll be your phone. If you have it on a Bluetooth speaker, it'll be on a Bluetooth speaker. And it'll say, you know, please slow down. So I actually really like that. It enables me to... Um, to have louder than the three beeps and other things going on. Now, what's the downside is it's not connected to your uh, your wheel in terms of what's happening at the actual battery, and you can't set the speed by battery level as you can in wheel log. Nor will it warn you about the current or the temperature, although both these things will be displayed on your Apple Watch if you have an Apple Watch. It's your speed, your temperature. Um, your current so you can kind of watch those out and the watch will also get notifications um, in addition to the voice you'll have like a little vibration and a, and a notification pop up on your watch as well so kind of neat but kind of incomplete also worth saying at the end of the ride is you have some statistics that you can click on if you are actually to tap on any one of these particular dials for example you'd get a more detailed graph about the statistics on it and that is also very welcome and very neat all right we are now on ios showing darkness bot um, connected to the gotway again uh, this one has a number of tabs that you can uh, grab and configure and, and slide around as you like it also has a connection to the watch face on the apple it'll keep track of uh, the miles per hour and the like i have not yet been able to get it to function as an alarm <laughs> which is what you really want. Um, and you'll notice that the battery calculation is incorrect on my MCM5. This is uh, charged higher than that, I believe. 
but um, it's a high current battery and so it's not a surprise at all. Um, the temperature is right at about 102, which is not surprising because it's it's Texas and it's been sitting here. So um, this one also has um, uh, some local map functions if you enable location services and the like and a profile and your settings in terms of the device. Uh, you can set your capacity and your cycles and your maximum speed and the like, and it's theoretically going to give you warnings, but again, I could not get the warnings on the watch. Because I'm pro, um, we're still in the darkness spot, I thought I'd show you the watch app. So you have the speed, you have the battery percentage, um, you have, sorry, miles per hour, battery percentage, uh, single mileage, um, remaining mileage, total mileage, and temperature all being shown on the, on the watch. Okay, just for thoroughness, we have the Gotway app on the iOS. Um, here, you can pull up and see some statistics if you weren't aware of that. Um, you have a few settings in terms of alarms. Um, when you're playing with the alarm settings, um, the way I ride is I turn off the first class alarm and the second class alarm, which are both um, kind of hokey. The third class alarm remains on, uh, that's the ones related to battery. And if you want to turn them back on, you open all alarms again. So, um, tilt back speed, where it's going to start tilting back on you. Always test a new wheel at a very low speed in the tilt back so you can see what it's going to do, uh, rather than discovering um, at a high speed. And then of course your, your ride settings, I like mine on medium on this particular wheel. And that shows you. Um, what it does um, and you of course also have some some basic information down there as well um, this one does not connect to the to the watch sadly as well all the warnings are through the wheel and now we get to the final uh, app I'm going to show which is the Android wheel log app and the pebble watch uh, so I bought this phone for 25 bucks uh, without a data program uh, because I don't need one at Walmart and I bought the pill for 25 bucks also and so I'm considering it a $50 piece of safety gear um, and this particular one you have uh, a number of settings you can swipe through including graphs um, you have some speed settings uh, in terms of alarms uh, miles per hour um, alarm settings if you go to view these um, they're a little unusual I'm just going to say is the speed first is is set in kilometers per hour and then you say the the percentage of the battery, and this should actually be at 100, not 90. So I have it permanently set to warn me at uh, 40 something kilometers. I'm going to make that 40, 43. And here you can see it's saying greater than or equal to 43, less than 50. All right. And as we go to the battery, this is the battery percentage combined with the speed. All right. So at less um, less than 100 percent. Um, uh, anytime I hit 43 or more, I'm going to have the, the watch vibrate. Um, and here you can see the enable alarms and the vibrate uh, on the Pebble Watch button. And then I have a secondary set of alarms, alarm two, at 32 miles an hour, uh, kilometers an hour and 30% battery. And then uh, the third one is off. You also have a current alarm. I set mine at 90 amps and a temperature alarm, which I set at 77 degrees Celsius. And so the watch starts to vibrate on those things. Um, um, you can see if I can get this to go. Uh, you got your, your ride statistics and on the Pebble watch, um, you can see that it is connected here also as I move the wheel. Um, you get your statistics on the wheel, on the temperature, battery percentage, and uh, and speed and here you'll see again the battery is, is incorrect but that's again due to the high voltage uh, nature of the 100 watt hour battery on the MCM I'm sure they'll get it addressed um, accordingly so um, right now in terms of how I have this mounted I'll just show you I've slid it slid it underneath the, uh, the retainer there and I just buckle it around uh, my arm and I'm about to do a second modification where I take off the band 
put on a piece of Velcro and then Velcro it right up on here uh, so it's easier. But I wanted to make sure it was all working before I uh, went that far. So um, choose wisely. You can only have one device connected to your wheel at a time, uh, one app connected to your wheel at a time. Um, in this particular case, I wanted something that was going to vibrate on my my uh, my wrist. I sincerely hope that the um, the Apple guys catch up. And since the app hasn't been updated in about a year, I'm not very hopeful. And that's why the 50 bucks of, of safety gear. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks. Just to kind of finish it up, guys, I thought I'd show you how I mounted the, uh, the watch on uh, Marty's device. I took some Velcro and popped it onto the back of this so it'll vibrate down on the arm using the little squares I found over at Joanne Fabrics and took the uh, watch band off. But, um, that's kind of the final. So this is just some, some video I'm going to play in the background while I give you some extra final thoughts on this, especially on the, the wheel log. Um, worth discussing here is that if you go to download wheel log from the, uh, the store on your Android, it's going to be the wrong version. It's going to be two years out of date. You actually have to go to the ecu.org forums um, where they've been posting the file. Um, you can email the file to yourself and then install it, or you can go directly to the forums in the browser and, and download it. You have to disable the security to install it, but that's how you get the latest version. It's not an automatic process. It's a, um, <laughs> subscribe to the forums, and when they update and post, uh, download and install again. The other thing to note here is that the Pebble watch, um, Pebble was bought by Fitbit, and Fitbit has stopped supporting it, even though they've gone above and beyond and helping the community go there. And so you have to actually switch over to something called Rebel, uh, which is, again, uh, available on the forums and what have you. It's a fairly easy process. Once you've uh, grabbed the Pebble, paired it with your watch, updated the software, you then point it at the, the Rebel site, and it'll walk you through cutting over to to it for the services. Um, I'll also say that I've watched the Pebble Watch um, display screw up quite a bit and um, be kind of hard to read. I don't know what causes that, but you know, scrolling down to the bottom on the on the menus and selecting wheel log, even though you can't see it, uh, does clear it up as sometimes just uh, uh, hitting, hitting any of the buttons and getting back to time will do it too. So. Uh, none of these solutions is great. <laughs> really what needs to happen is the manufacturers need to step up and do the right thing. Um, of the applications, you know, I like the user interface and the sound notices best on the gyrometrics. gyrometrics. Um, I like the alarm configuration best on the wheel log and um, darkness bot is the one that's being currently updated on iOS. And, until it catches up on the alarms or the notifications, I, I can't recommend that either. So um, for myself, I'm probably going to continue using wheel log because combining the speed with the battery um, seems a little safer to me uh, than just having a generic speed warning because as you know, the top end goes down as the battery goes down. Likewise, having the current alarm and the temperature alarm are two things I can't really ignore. So even though I'm an Apple guy, um, that's why you see me using 50 bucks worth of, of non-Apple stuff. Um, and there you have it. Uh, hopefully, hopefully this video helps you out uh, somewhat if understanding what's going on. And if you're an iOS developer, uh, I've hey, go go check out that code on GitHub. Uh, update update it. Take us up to the wheel log uh, versions, please. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, happy wheeling.